expectations. Expectations, great expectations. How are you today? Very excited that you are here. Thankful for you being here. I love it that you are here. Expectations, oh my goodness. Expectations, expectations in school, expectations at work, expectations in your relationships, expectations on yourself. Where are the expectations coming from? Such an important exercise. I want you to take a second and write down all the expectations, whether you have them on yourself, uh, whether you're getting them from other people, what expectations you have on other people, so powerful. I made this change, I did a message that maybe a year ago about the 100-0 principle and taking full responsibility over your actions, full responsibility over your words, over your choices. Stop blaming everybody else for your problems and having 100% expectation on yourself to deliver that with zero expectation in return from somebody else and how that can just dynamically change everything. Look, the expectations you have in your life, whether they are to conform to a certain uh, expectation that people have on you or to conform to a certain environment that the expectation is X, Y, Z, a belief you have, whatever it is. I mean, let's be real here for a second. Anytime you feel disappointment, anytime you feel disappointment in someone, it's because there's a failed expectation that happened. Think about that for a second. When you feel disappointment, it's because you were expecting something else. Once you release those expectations of conformity for something or expectations of others to do something because you did something, once you release that expectation, I cannot tell you the freedom that occurs because of that. The expectations are crippling us. And I would love for you to just take inventory. This is our exercise for today. Take inventory of the expectations that you have for yourself, that maybe you're in a relationship and why don't you ask them what their expectations are of you? What about your kids? I'm gonna do that with my kids actually. <coughs> what are their expectations of me? And just go through that list and see if it aligns to anything that you're about. And see if you can even fulfill those expectations. And if you can't, here's the thought. Why don't you be clear about what you can deliver and what you can't. Failure is because you tried. That doesn't make you any less of a person. That doesn't make you, if you just stop trying to prove to the world, I struggled for this for years with expectations. The majority of the expectations had nothing to do with me. It was trying to please everybody else. And I would just encourage you to identify where your expectations are, where those expectations are coming from, and realize how worthy you are to be free of expectations. I promise you, it'll change things for you. You do it because you matter. I do it because I appreciate you. And I love you. And you know what to do. Go get them. <laughs>